Say you model the weather, and the weather can be bad or good. Then you take a Bernoulli distribution with a parameter theta as the probabilistic model. This parameter theta is the probability of good weather, but since it's a probability, it has to be in a range from 0 to 1. Now assume that you want to use a different parameter, let's say a psi, and this psi has to be in a range from minus infinity to infinity. How to do this? And here we would use a logit function. Hi, welcome to a new video. Today we want to look at logits and how they can be used to define Bernoulli distributions. And in the intro we already saw the motivation for it, so that we want to define a Bernoulli with an alternative parameter, which is not bound to be in 0 and 1, but can be any value from minus infinity to plus infinity. And this is really handy if you, for example, have some prior steps in computing this value, and those are not limited to just this range, but can output any value. And we use the following mapping. We define the psi as the logarithm of theta over 1 minus theta. And by this we can define the following. If theta is 0, so for instance we have like 100% chance of bad weather, then our psi would be 0 divided by something will still be 0. Logarithm of 0 is minus infinity. And if psi is, or if theta is 0 0.5, then our psi is 0 0.5 over 1 minus 0 0.5 is 0 0.5 over 0 0.5 is 1, logarithm of 1 is 0. And if theta is 1, so we have 100% chance of good weather, then our psi is 1 over 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 over 0 is plus infinity, and a logarithm of plus infinity is plus infinity. So in a sense we have a mapping from theta to psi with a theta on the x-axis and a psi on the y-axis and theta is limited to 0 and 1 and psi can take any value from minus infinity to plus infinity. We know at theta as 0 0.5 our psi is going through the x-axis and towards 1 it's going to plus infinity and to 0 it's going to minus infinity so we might have a function that looks like this. Okay, let's now look at how it is implemented in TensorFlow probability. For this I am in a terminal and I open up an interactive Python session. Then first I will import a package in order to suppress TensorFlow warnings. Then we need TensorFlow itself. And we need TensorFlow probability as TFP. So our goal is now to look at the Bernoulli distribution and define it once with a probability and once with a logit. And first let us check the documentation of the Bernoulli. And if we look at this, we see that it can either take logits or probabilities at inputs. And actually, interestingly, logit is also the first input as it is more commonly used in the context of TensorFlow probability. So this is also the reason why we always use named arguments when we instantiated the Bernoulli. Okay, let's say we have a theta. And let's say, for instance, we look at the observation of good weather and say it's 80% chance of good weather. Then we can define our psi with the mapping from a probability to a logit as tf.math.logarithm of theta divided by 1 minus theta. When I mean, we look at psi, we see it's 1.386, so it would no longer be a probability. Let's define a Bernoulli with theta, and this is distribution Bernoulli, and we give it a probability, and this is 0 0.8. And we can define a Bernoulli with a psi, or with a logit, let's call it with a logit, is tfp.distributions.bernoulli and the logit is our psi. And if we now look at the mean of the distribution, they coincide. So if we look at the Bernoulli of the theta mean, by the definition of the Bernoulli, this should be 0 0.8, similar to the parameter. And if we look at the logit mean, this is identical. So they yield the same distribution. But now you still might ask yourself, why is it called logit? And how, how 
can we use it to define a Bernoulli? For this, let us um, find the inverse mapping from Psi to our theta. So we said that Psi is the logarithm of theta over one minus theta. Let's rearrange this equation for Psi. For this, let's apply the exponential on both sides. So we have e to the Psi is theta over one minus theta. Then we can multiply with uh, one minus theta on both sides and we get one minus theta times e to the Psi is theta. And then we can add theta e Psi to the other side, e to the Psi equals, and then we get theta times one plus e to the Psi. And then we can divide by this term. So divide by one plus e to the Psi and we get theta is e to the Psi over one plus e to the Psi. And in case you're familiar with this, this is the sigmoid function. So it's the sigmoid of Psi. So the mapping from the logit back to theta is the sigmoid. And we know the sigmoid, it looks something like this. So we have a Psi on the x-axis and a theta on the y-axis and the sigmoid um, crosses the y-axis at 0 0.5 and at minus infinity it is 0 and at plus infinity it is 1. So it looks something like, like this. So it approaches against 1. And this is also the function that is linked with logistic regression. And since we use the Psi parameter in order to define our Bernoulli, we then call it the logistic unit or logit. For the record, let us also check if we can go back from the Psi to the theta. So the Psi was 1.386 and we can apply the sigmoid. So we use tf.math.sigmoid and enter the Psi. And here we go, it is 0 0.8. So we can map from probabilities to logits and back, and we can define Bernoulli distributions either by logit or by probability. That's it for today. I hope you learned a lot about the logits and the Bernoulli distribution. Here you can find more videos on similar topics. See you next time.